be starting out with a team. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking it with a badass. Welcome to Bjorn Enrique, and today we are gonna kick it with some badasses. Andre Mir, what are we doing today? Today we're doing some slalom, preparing for the world champs, testing some stuff, try to get in shape, and uh, having a good time up here in Bjorn Enrique. Cool. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good, and you? Good. Really nice to be here in Vemdalen where it's quiet and not so much people, so you can just focus on your training. So this video is all about following Team Sweden. And so this next part of the video, and one of the reasons why I haven't actually been putting out that much content is because we've been working so hard on these Heli Hansen videos. That's what this is right now. We're starting out with a team event. It's so fun to race with a team and have the whole team around you. For me, that's the biggest chance for a medal. So I'm like putting 100% effort to help the team to get that medal or maybe even the gold in team event. I'm really excited and looking forward to this race. It's been a big goal for us. We had a good result at the finals last year where we won and we want to repeat that, of course. Something big is gonna happen soon. What I really love doing, and what some of the comments have said recently, is that we wanna try to go deeper, and I wanna try to go deeper. Some of the athletes said some really cool, interesting things, and that's what we're gonna get into here. Team event is something that we in Sweden are pretty good at. I think we have a medal in all the championships from 2009 at least. I think it's because when we were younger, we always skied parallel. I think we had a little bit advantage from the beginning. Doing all the trainings together, we don't have separate team with like Andre the star, he doesn't have his own team, like we're all together. That I think builds the team character and, and that makes us stronger as a team. Yeah, I think this is the key actually. I would say our team is one of the best. What it, makes it the best? We are so connected and synchronized, I think it makes work very easy. Because of that, we are not in our ways, we help each other out. A very smooth, you know, environment when team has some kind of uh, structure. What are we working on today? In the slalom, it's pretty basic for me. I just need to really have the space before the gate so I can do it clean. Because sometimes I'm getting a bit squeezed. And when you say squeezed, what do you mean squeezed? No, but when I'm coming too tight or too straight, I don't have the space so I can really get the good clean arc. So it's pretty basic, just forward, space, clean, aggressive. Okay. <laughs> get the good clean arc turn. It's actually pretty the same in parallel now, what I'm going to train now for some runs. To have the space, I will try to double punch a bit today. Yeah? We're gonna see double punching? I think so. <laughs> you know, I'm tall, I think I could do it. Yeah. And I did I a little bit too. in Oslo, but not enough. I was watching Petra and she was really good. So I, I will try today. I think I have an advantage being taller. Maybe that was a disadvantage before when we actually went around the gates. I tried to keep up with the guys, but I couldn't. And then I started to go over the flag instead. And that was a good technique. In some hills you can actually punch every flag, but other steeper hills I think you need still to go around a little bit because it's a lot of risk involved because you can easily get stuck. And I think it's going to be a situation where you sometimes do it and sometimes not, but try to make it a good plan before and try to execute it as good as, as possible. Press conference is just about to start. Classic. Oh, buddy. <laughs> 
be in Ore and have my family and friends here, it will be a great reason. All the people who are here watching cheer me on, it will give me a little bit extra energy. <laughs> See you tomorrow, bud. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. See you later. Just like that, it's on tomorrow. Hopefully this crew will have an epic day. And you, how are you doing? Good, we're in shape. That's Perfect good. training, huh? Go for it. How you doing? Yeah, good, how are you? Good. good morning. How are you? I'm pretty good, you? Mm. Yeah, that was a good one. Good morning, Frida. Good morning. Good morning. I was training at 8.45. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Coaches are working really, really hard today. Every time somebody goes, like all the gates come off. It's gotta be brutal. But today is the day. Team event, man. We're up here training right now, the Swedes. The Americans have no team today. So today, I'm going all Sweden. Double blocking is crucial. You have to do it in order to be good. But the issue is it's about height. Like it's a height game. If you're tall, it's much easier because then you can see over the panel and around it. There's a massive margin for error with the block, but you have to get both hands on at the same time. The outside hand hits first. That's when you get quite a big issue because that inside hand will get tangled. I try to block with my wrists really up like this because yeah. then the gate deflects off. Okay. Whereas if you go straight, it's so easy to go in and under the flag. Like you have to be like pretending you're going to punch someone in the face. Game time is soon. Let me explain the team event for a second. So the team event is four athletes from each nation that go head to head. If two athletes win from Sweden and then two from say, I don't know, Canada, then the tie break is the fastest men and fastest women's time combined. Who's gonna win tonight? Definitely Sweden! Sweden, Let's go. Let's go. Sweden of course! Switzerland for sure is gonna win! Switzerland, yeah, finger crossed. And then Frida Hansdotter wins her heat, and then Matthias Hargen wins his heat right over here, and then there's one heat left. Mira Zenhausen sending it. Dude, come on, come on, Mira. Oh, it's gonna be so tight. Holy sh That's what sport is all about. You never f***ing know, and that's why we love it. Not the story we were looking for tonight. Sorry, Team Sweden. Oh! <laughs> nice. Switzerland with the victory. Okay, let's swing it over to Frida Hansoder and Vemdon a few days ago to end this thing. Should I do like this? Yeah, or, uh, just like okay. that. Mm? Yep. <laughs> Huge shout out to the Swedish ski team's uh, media crew. In the description, we're gonna give a give a link to their YouTube channel. Thanks to all the Swedish ski team athletes. All their links will be in the description for Instagram. And um, yeah, thanks to Helly Hansen for giving me the opportunity to spend so much time with them. Can I get a high five? Yes. Yes, man. Boom. <laughs> all right. Have a good one. You guys too.